Okay, I want to make a comment about some. That right there is a Glock 2145 semi-automatic. That's a magazine for it. Yes, it's loaded. 13 rounds, 45 caliber ammunition, 230 grain hollow points. What I'm talking about is gun control. And it's been a couple weeks since the shooting gun at Ivy Tech. Or, not Ivy Tech. Um, Virginia Tech. People, the guns aren't at fault. That individual followed every gun law there was on the books that were carrying on to a school. And that's the question. Go schools, institutions for learning, are a gun-free zone. Shouldn't have carried a gun on there. That law didn't protect anybody. So how is making any other law going to protect you? It's not. Lifting that ban, however, might have. Because somebody, one of those students, one of those teachers, might have carried a concealed firearm. And as soon as the first two to three shots rang out, could have killed that guy. Or at least held him a gunpoint, had him drop his weapons. It already happened once in the school. This uh, assistant principal hold his firearm and hold on to a student who was going to go and shoot up the school. That principal got fired for. Um, killing Texas woman there had her gun in the car while she watched her mother and father die in Luby's cafeteria because Texas hadn't had a concealed carry permit. She's now a senator. Um, I'm not going to give you a bunch of stats and facts and numbers and stuff because they can lie. I want you to do an experiment on your own though. I want you to think of the number of people that you know have guns who own firearms. Then I want you to think of those same number, uh, think of another number of people who have cars. Most likely you know more people have cars than guns. No. I want you to take those people who have guns and how many of them have shot somebody and how many of them have been shot. Now, the people who have cars, how many of them have been in a car accident and how many of them have hit another car? I've been in three car accidents. I've been hit twice. I have not shot anybody. I have not been shot. I own 20 some odd guns. You can see most of them on the videos I've made. Um, I know probably about seven or eight people who have guns. I know two have been shot, one of which was in combat, one of which was accidental. I know three people who have shot people, and all three of those were in combat. I know 10, 15 people have cars. Not including me, my wife has been in a car accident. My dad has been in a car accident. My mom's been in a car accident. My sister's been in a car accident. My grandpa's been in a car accident. My aunt's been in a car accident. Um, my father-in-law's been in a car accident. I'm pretty sure my mother-in-law, but I'm not real sure. So there's seven out of like 15. And I don't even really know that people. I just know they've got cars. My best friend's dad has been in a car accident. My best friend's mom has been in a car accident. You know, more people have been killed in car accidents than by guns. That's what I'm trying to get across to you. If you don't believe me, think about it for yourself. Look how many car accidents there are. Look how many gun fatalities there are in your own community. Call the cops, they'll tell you the information. Guns don't commit crimes, people do. People are the problem. You need to control people, not guns. More honest people who are smart and well trained with guns will make us safer. If you don't believe me, how come there's not that many shootings in the military? Because we've got guns, hundreds of them powerful ones. That's my point. That's my feelings. Go ahead and throw your comments out there. Let's have some fun.